Hey guys and welcome to a new episode of Fitness Factor Fiction. My name is Anna Mabuchi and today I wanted to talk about specifically training certain body parts and what I'm going to examine is whether you should train them directly or not. Um, it seems that some people think that it's okay to not directly train certain body parts whereas the, it's okay to train other body parts directly and that's a very wrong concept our bodies yes they were built to work in tandem and in conjunction with everything else but it is also beneficial for us to isolate and Im improve that muscle's abilities individually Naturally, we're going to have inclinations to have uh, a stronger this or a stronger that, whether it's upper body, lower body, midsection. You're going to have one muscle group that's going to be stronger than the others that are around it, just by how you are built, your bone structure, your limb length, your height. All sorts of stuff go into that that favor certain muscle groups being stronger in certain people than not. That is why every single muscle group deserves its own uh, dedicated training. In addition to training compound movements, I'm not saying compound movements are no good. I'm saying they're a foundation, but you need to build on that foundation. Um, today I want to be specifically talking about... Uh, forearms because forearms are a bit tricky they are not just very visible anytime you're wearing like a short sleeve shirt they're right there in plain view so you want them to look as nice and as aesthetically pleasing as possible and that happens when they're well developed in addition to being low body fat in general the, the, the extremities aren't going to hold a lot of body fat but you want to make sure that that muscle is developed to some degree, at least some tone. Now, the distinction comes here between men and women. If you are a woman, then I don't advise you train forms directly, or at least not on a regular basis, for the sole reason that usually well-developed forearms are seen as being masculine. Which, again, it's going to come down to your own you know, better judgment. If you look at your, your forearms and you see, like, you know, they're a little bit uh, flabby and you want to tighten them up and you want to make sure that they're nice and toned, then go ahead and train forearms directly. Uh, but be careful not to train too heavy or too often. Now, if you're a guy, it's a different story. As, an, as a guy, this is one of the muscles that tells people seeing your entire physique like this guy is strong he has a strong grip he has strong arms they might not see your upper arms or your shoulders but they will see your forearms like they gotta be well developed so don't neglect them they they're gonna help you train back better they're gonna help you train biceps better they're gonna help you train traps better but the stuff that you do for those muscles are not enough to train your forearms fully. So, the people that tell you that, oh, just do deadlifts and bent over rows and your forearms will grow. No, those are great for your back development, but they're not enough for forearms. The people that tell you, oh, do hammer curls and your forearms will, will be good. Yeah, like, that's going to hit it good, but still not enough. Shrugs, same story. It's it's a great uh, isometric hold, and it's gonna put like quite a bit of tension uh, on that muscle, the forearms, in addition to the traps. But still, not enough. What's needed for forearms? If you want to bring your forearms up to speed and make them pop and uh, be eye-catching and aesthetically pleasing just some, something nice to look at you want to include at least once a week training them you can you can do more because it's a small muscle and it will take more frequency or more volume but start with one see how you react maybe you don't need more than one don't do too much too soon 
So start once a week doing wrist curls and reverse wrist curls. There is multiple angles, multiple variations. Do those, go for higher reps and moderate weights and make sure that you feel a burn in that muscle. Make sure you're, that you feel fatigued. Don't just go through the motion mindlessly. Make sure that you feel that it has been worked to a degree where you have a little bit of a pump going, the blood flow is make, making your veins pop a little bit. That's when you know that you've worked that muscle and isolated it and stimulated it so it can grow stronger and bigger now I hope that what I share with you here uh, is something that you can apply to your benefit and until next time stay well stay strong stay smart